Hi, I'm Erica from AccuQuilt, and I'm here today with Aditya Sitar and her wonderful Serendipity Cube. And we just finished learning how to use our flower shapes, and right. I cannot wait to show you how to use your flower accent. Once you have your flower shapes, you're going to want to plant a garden full of appliques. So let me show you what you do. Again, we're going to start with fabrics, and I'm going to use the fabrics from my beautiful stash of six inch squares. I'm using the six inch squares because they work great, great with the size of the dies. Uh, for this project, I'm going to need uh, scraps of uh, reds, and I have a one that it's in pink color for my petals. Beautiful. I also selected this fabric because this fabric gives me such a wonderful variety. I love this kind of fabric and this is a batik, but you can use a printed fabric that has more than one color on it and great it wor idea. works great. And then I have a green for our leaves. We're gonna need a nice background. The background size is five and a half by nine and a half okay. and it gives us a nice daisy block. Great. We're going to try to make those. Here, maybe you want right. to play with the fabrics for I a few do. minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to choose a fusible webbing and I'm going to iron my fusible webbing to the back of the fabric. And again, if you would like to, you can take the paper away and cut your shapes or you can cut with the paper on and uh, create a wonderful shapes. Great idea. I always cut the six inch squares because I want to save time for my projects and I cut the uh, um, every um, die and even if I don't need those stems at this moment, I cut them because next time when I need them, I already have them cut in my that. little bag safe for my next That's project. That's great. So let me cut some leaves. And it goes so quickly. Yes, I'm using the Go Baby okay. because the six inch dies go really nice with it. But the dies from uh, the cube will work with Go, Go Baby. Um, uh, and, and the it, Go Big. Yes, Perfect. yeah, the Go Big, you can really go <laughs> you fast. You can go fast, yes. yes. I like the Go Baby because I travel a lot with okay. my classes. So I take my Go Baby, even if I'm in a hotel room, I have my six yes. inch squares. <laughs> Yes, and I can get... You've got your six-inch squares, you've got your nice go-baby, you're set. Part. Look at this. So immediately, I have my stems. Oh, look at those. I have my leaves. Beautiful. Yes, help yourself. Grab look some. Look how thin and, and look tiny, at the, and they're just perfect. Yes, and can you imagine how beautiful the edges are? Look at how delicate they are. Everything is ready, set, go for you. Like I said, this is the only shape that you have to pay attention. It's so if you want to, yes, okay. if you want it this way, it will be perfect. But if you need it reverse for the other side, okay. you need to make sure your fabric is placed the right way. Perfect. So here, yeah. would you like to try this? I Lee? will. Okay. So In, I need to bend the, the edge. Yes. And then it just peels off so nicely. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm going to use my, um, other die this one because okay. I have my eyes set on this wonderful <laughs> circles for a center of my flower and I want to cut this wonderful re right. rainbow color. But you're going to get all that great variation in there too. Yes, yeah. And I'm, like I said, saving all of the other shapes for all my other projects. Or maybe as I'm creating my block, I want to get creative. And because I cut with the dies, mm -hmm. it gives me more time to get creative and uh, enjoy what I like to do best. So it's okay cool. to play, right? Yes, of course. So right here, look at this flower. Oh, look at Isn't that. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, uh, the hearts are the beautiful little stars. You These have perfect to perfect little yes. circles. I'm gonna make sure you don't lose any of them. I'm gonna peel another one because that was so fun. Oh, <laughs> and it's you know this one actually would work perfect for our it center. Would. Super. So all my other shapes, I would right away take them, s collect them. I don't want to lose any of them, and I place them in my little baggie. Little bag. Yep. So they're ready for next yes. time. Yes. So if I need a, a splash of yellow, and if I need a little star or anything else, I have it already cut, ready, set, Just go. Just beautiful. Yes. Look at this. How the star look with a little yellow center on it. Right away becomes a star flower. Isn't that How sweet? sweet. Yeah. But let's focus okay. on our daisy block. So we have the stem mm -hmm. 
and all that I did is a crease a corner, separate and start peeling it away so that way I have my stem okay. ready set go. I have my low leaves ready and now laid up my petals. Oh, this one still have a paper on it and sometimes you can um, cut without the paper on if you know you're going to use the shapes right away. Okay. But if you're saving them for another project, it's good to keep the paper. Keep the paper on. Yeah, okay. it keeps them nice and stiff. So with AccuQuilts, you always get the best uh, edges, really nice. The cuts are just wonderful. Just perfect. Yes. Look at that perfect tiny so right circle. Here. And uh, whenever you're ready, take Go an ahead. iron and press, press it. Down. it. But in case you are not ready and you want to change some things and you want to add a leaf or two, it's okay. so easy to cut it. And look at what happened if I take those petals and just flip them around. Oh my goodness, it's the, a whole different look. Yeah, it makes a fun flower. So fun. Yeah. Endless possibility. And I want to bring to your attention as well, I know you enjoy the simple shapes yes. that we had uh, before. Those, uh, all the shapes in the uh, Serendipity Cube right. go very well with the simple shapes. That is shapes. another great idea. Yeah. So mix and match, create. Just open up even more possibilities mm -hmm. for us. Do what you like to do, spend more time quilting than cutting. And Excellent. Yeah, this allows you to do that. Once you have your flower complete, press it, and then finish up with stitches. When I design, many times I take my six inch squares, I cut a lot of different shapes, sit down in front of a layout, and start placing things, fill up uh, reefs and bouquets, and then I take a camera and I photograph it to see how it looks, and I keep my photographs as my layouts. But you don't have to worry about the layout for this wonderful <laughs> daisy. We no, but have, that's a great idea yeah. for your projects. Yeah, when you want to create your own right. things and want to get creative with it. In the cube, we have included layouts, color ones, okay. and then black and white, so that way you know exactly, exactly where to put to do those. This one. Perfect. For the edges, I recommend a zigzag blanket stitch or button stitch, or you can do a rouge applique, or as well you can use the CD that feature all fun embroidered stitches for 21 shapes, and you have three different embroidered stitches on the CD, and you can download it right. to your machine and stitch around, and the daisy is one of the blocks that you'll be able to enjoy with that. So Great. hopefully you start designing your own blocks. I can't wait to see what you do, I Erica. I can't wait to get started.